In the last episode we sailed to some really beautiful places in the north of Denmark. In this episode we start by revisiting Lhasa. two ports and this time we went to the west side. We both enjoyed this place more. So they make a lot of salt in this island and uh, apparently here it's for shipping. We arrived late and most things in a small town was closed. But we had a little bit of walk around and we found this spectacular looking spa which used the local salt in its treatments. But of course it was closed once we got there. And the main reason we came here was actually not to visit the island but the fact that we had to turn back to Sweden. And this was a good stopover to shorten the sail a little bit. It is a super early morning, it's about 5.30 and uh, we're going to leave this early because we have a long sail today and we hope to get there before the evening because it's also Taylor's last day. We're going to make some coffee and then going to untie the lines and I think we're going to have pretty good wind most of the day, like at least the first uh, 10 hours. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the sail. In the morning light, it was only us and the fisher boats out. We made quite some good speed sailing north to get clear of the shallows around Lhasa. Then we had a long grey windy day until we reached Var Bay in the afternoon. And the reason to go here is that some things had already broken and I think this is a good spot to pick up spare parts and to drop Taylor off. From the marina it was a little bit of a walk into town, passing a bird protection area. One thing I really like about this place is that they have a sort of shopping centre that has like everything you can imagine within kind of a short range but I didn't count on it to start raining I've gotten most of the things I need and I started to get it really wet so I'm just gonna go one more place and then I'm gonna head back to Tilda and that's gonna be it for today and probably as much as I can carry with the backpack and the bags that I have already so it's really starting to rain more so I think maybe I should not do this last place, but I really want to. So let's see if I regret myself. At least it's a nice walk with a lot of trees flowering and uh, it's really nice surroundings. It's like a um, nature reserve out here. And also one really good thing is that uh, the marina is a sauna. So if it gets super wet and cold, I could always warm that up. I thought it was just a coincidence with all those birds walking on the road when I got into town, but now it's also stopping the cars. Okay, so I'm back. Slightly wet, but I, I managed to get most of the things that I needed. And I actually managed to do seven stores in this weather, which I think is pretty good. So I got the new hiking pants, which I need. 
Uh, I got the polyester for a small job I need to do. I got one of the ceilings that I need for fixing the hatch. Um, I'm gonna make it a bit different this time, so I'm gonna use a double ceiling. So this is gonna be one part, and the other part I need to need it to special order. So I think that will come tomorrow if I'm lucky. And some more boxes for the toilet. More plastic tools. And um, also new beach towel. Yeah, there is plenty of more stuff in here. So I managed to get most of the things. Uh, what I didn't find was... Um, hmm... Now I forgot. Yeah, I do need some more uh, hoses for... I want to finally connect my... I had this extra water tank in the bow for quite a while now. Uh, so I haven't connected it yet. But that was not possible to find here. Uh, so I guess I had to order it. They have pretty much everything in this town except the marine store. So the specific marine things is a little bit harder to get. But otherwise, we're a small town. It's very good. Oh, and I find this uh, aluminium profile that I will uh, use for my new uh, bookshelf. So that's something I've been looking for for a while. So I'm pretty happy about this. The warm sauna seemed like a perfect end of the day. And it offered a great view. I guess I picked the most windy days to stay here. The boat is healing 5 to 10 degrees at the dock all the time and it's building up waves inside of the harbor area actually. So it ain't really my favorite type of weather. It's hard to fix anything because nothing is still and uh, being outside is just really cold again. But for now the sun is shining, so let's be happy about that. So I took the opportunity to go all the way into the city center to have a look at the town. Spring had really arrived and there was flowers everywhere. But of course when I got back it was work left to do. So I'm finally gonna do the water filter and put it into my cooling water intake. I've been uh, waiting and waiting and waiting to do this because I don't really look forward to it. But uh, it will be really good to have it done. With that done, I also got my cockpit table varnished and my interior floor and I finally got my bookshelf. Remaining was fixing my broken bilge pump. It's completely broken. The rubber isn't stiff at all, so I'm a little bit surprised. But buying a new one of those are super expensive. I have some awesome news. I'm super happy to announce that Watsky has decided to sponsor me with some stuff that I need for Tilda. And for those of you who might not know Watsky, they are a huge marine accessory online store with quality items and they have pretty much anything you need for boat life so I'm super happy, it's going to be so helpful and guess what? My parcel with the stuff has just arrived so um, I'm up to pick it up. It's uh, windy outside so I guess I'll better have a jacket with me. Okay, so this is something I'm super excited about. It's uh, going underneath the, the bed to make a little bit more of air circulation because we put the mattress on pure plastic so it gets kind of humid inside there. So I've been curious on this for a long time. So now I finally got one. So that's one of my fixes for this afternoon. And 
the spare parts for my bridge pump. Perfect. Some new varnish because I varnished my table and some other stuff but the one that I had was a bit old so it doesn't float really well and also it's very glossy so this is a little bit more satin style so this will be perfect uh, some glass fiber because I'm gonna do some small work um, safety ladder uh, chain holder Oh, also blocks for my spinnaker. Oh, I also finally got this. Um, I don't find it. I saw the other one just a second ago, but because I cannot open my outside lockers when the furling line goes there, but with those it will work so much better. I hope. Ta-da! My third diesel jerry can. So now I can carry. Uh, 120 liter diesel which is double as I have in my tank so that's gonna be perfect on the canal system because um, you can't fill up anywhere and also you might have to go to like a car station so awesome and last but definitely not least because here is my new anchor starts raining I'm quickly gonna move everything inside and empty all the stuff Zika flex which you always need and the foam pencils which I think is the best for doing varnish so yeah okay now I'm just gonna gonna run to get rid of the cardboard boxes. I'm gonna do some super intense fixes and then I'm off again. I actually gonna fit this above the mattresses so it, when I take them away it can fold up a little bit to the sides. I think I get, even get Parts big enough for the aft cabin, so yeah, that's super good. That was not expected. And at last, the bilge pump. I hope removing the old one is gonna be the trickiest because it's taken me quite some time already and. Uh, I haven't even loosened this part. Finally it was in place and I was ready to leave again. Thank you Watsky for supporting this episode. And also I want to deeply thank my Patreons for supporting the making of these episodes. And if you want to contribute you can also become a Patreon or buy me a coffee at the links below. If you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you appreciated this episode, please give it a big thumbs up.